Hi, in this video we're going to do an interesting problem. We have to find the value of k for which the equation has equal roots. So that's going to happen when the discriminant is zero. So let me refresh your memory on why exactly that's true and what exactly is the discriminant. So if you have a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a is not zero, then the solutions are given by x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. And so here, this piece that you see inside the square root, this is special, it's given a name, people call it the discriminant, and is given by b squared minus 4ac. If this is equal to zero, you're basically going to get the square root of zero, so this whole thing here is zero. So x is equal to negative b over 2a. So you have distinct real roots, or as the directions say, equal roots. So in this problem, we're going to put the equation into this form. We're going to identify a, b, and c, and then we'll set the discriminant equal to zero and solve for k. We'll start by multiplying this out. There is a formula that lets us do that. If you have a plus b quantity squared, think of a as the first piece and b as the second piece, and you square the first piece, you put a plus sign because there's a plus, and then you multiply these and double them, and then you square the last piece. So here we square the first piece, it's gonna give us four y squared. Multiply these and double them, so two y k, so four k y. Square the last piece. And this is equal to eight y. Uh, now we'll subtract eight y from both sides. So we get four y squared plus 4ky minus 8y plus k squared equals zero. So now we have to put this in this form that you see up here, and it's not quite there yet. We have to factor out a y here. So this is 4y squared plus 4k minus 8y plus k squared equals zero. And so now you see it's in this form up here. It's the same as this. So a is four, so I'm gonna write that down. B is this entire piece here, it's the coefficient of y. So B is gonna be 4k minus eight, and then C is going to be equal to k squared. So now we'll work out the discriminant, which is here, and we'll set it equal to zero. So D is equal to B squared, so 4k minus eight squared, minus four AC, so four times four, because A is four, and then k squared. We want this to be equal to zero. Okay, so this is going to be d equals. We can multiply this out using a similar formula as the one above, except we have a minus in the formula. So square the first one, multiply these and double them. So 32k times two is 64k. And then here we have minus 16k squared. Okay, because four times four is 16. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the plus 64, right? So you square this one, multiply these and double them, square this one, that gives you plus 64, and then minus 16k squared. All right, so all of this is this, right? You square the first one, multiply these and double them, 32 times two is 64, square the eight, you get 64, and then minus 16k squared. These cancel, so we get d equals negative 64k plus 64 equal to zero. So we can subtract 64 and then divide by negative 64. So we get k equals one. So that is the value of k that will give us uh, a repeated real root or an equal root in this problem. Kind of an interesting problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.